Some customers have been shopping at Galco's for decades. I have been going to or coming here to Galco's since 1958. They catered my wedding. Store owner John Neese has been here since day one. I was here the day it opened in 55. I came down to bag groceries. The Italian sandwich shop has changed quite a bit since its start. Still, business at Galco's remains popular. With soda pop, like root beer and cream soda. But this soda pop stop offers more than the typical market brands. A lot more. The people really enjoy having a, a choice. When people come in here, they can buy one of anything. The 500 plus brands are meant to satisfy even the choosiest. And if customers are feeling creative, they can always make their own pop at the Creation Station. Soda fan Christian Lewis and I thought we'd give it a try. She got it. Don't do it, don't do it. I turned it into root beer. Can you stick it on top? Here. And you slam it down into it. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Even with all the flavors, many of Galco's longtime customers prefer its meat to something sweet. I don't really come for the soda and beer too much. Sometimes I will, but mostly for sandwiches. Still, they understand why Galco switched up its products. I think that people go to the markets now instead of, you know, the smaller shops. Some companies' revenues are bigger than the gross domestic products of nations, so it can be tough for mom-and-pop shops like Galco's to compete. According to Gallup, the number of small businesses closing in America now exceeds the number of businesses starting up. Nice gives his two cents on why small business matters. You become a part of the community when you're one location, and that's a lot of things that, that most businesses don't have today. They're in there for the dollar. They're going to be there as long as they make a profit. This month, the store will celebrate its 60th birthday. Despite the changed economy of business, Galco's is bubbly as ever. I'm Sarah Collins, Annenberg TV News.